Hello and welcome back to Free to Play Friday. Today I was I played Yoshi is a Crafted World demo version. Um and it is fun, like it wasn't difficult at all, I don't even think I got hit by an enemy. Um But yeah, it uh, was fun. I love the whole um Everything's made out of like arts and crafts stuff, uh, stuff aesthetics because that is really nice, uh, nice and uh, um, oh, and uh, it is a uh, what I would call a 2.5D platformer basically where uh, um, most of it could be done in a 2D game but you sort of like go in and out of the foreground a bit and while it is a bit while it is 3D. It, really doesn't use um, you know the 3D to a large extent to the point where it could only be done in a 3D game where this could po probably be done in a 2D game just like the um, Super Mario games like there was uh, the, the new Super which are obviously 2D but you also had the uh, Super Mario 3D world which was barely 3D gameplay like it um, you did have um, the um, 3D on the 3DS, you know, and I think that's the whole reason why it was called um, 3D Land. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why they called it 3D World because, again, most of it could have been done in a 2D game. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, the uh, crafted style is just adorable. I love how the gold coins look. They, in my opinion, they look the best that they have in this game that than they have ever done in any other game um and uh, d yeah well uh, it's just adorable basically it's just full of like character and uh, um full of little uh, bits of you know, like, look uh, back on that bridge um, if uh, if you were paying attention, you would see that it, like it had eyes, and it's just like it's full of like little details like that that just makes the world feel alive, basically. And it, uh, you can definitely tell that a lot of time and effort went into not not only making the foreground but also the background. And here, I admittedly did have a little struggle because I didn't realize you could hit that with an egg. I thought you had to like jump into it. Anyway. Um, yeah, my only slight problem, or like something that is kind of not the best, but it's not really a deal breaker, is um, the enemies look the same as they did in every other game. Now, it would have been cool if we got crafted, the, uh, you know, all like these shy guys and everything made out of crafted stuff. But uh, that is, that's not really a deal breaker. It's, uh, um, they still look pretty good, actually, and it, uh, the world still feels alive and everything. Uh, so having the enemies not made out of crafted stuff isn't a real deal breaker. Um, and uh, yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun in this uh, uh, demo. I didn't play through the entire demo. I just played through 15 minutes of it just so. Uh, you can go in and uh, play play yourself, and I didn't, and I haven't already shown you everything. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very nice that they give you a demo um, for the the bigger games uh, or and smaller games because Smash Bros Ultimate didn't have a demo weirdly enough. I would have thought it would have because Smash Four had a demo. And I remember playing that demo a lot on my 3DS before the game actually came out. I think I actually almost used up all of the um, times I could actually play on it. Uh, actually, I think I still have it on my 3DS. Let me check here. Uh, but yeah, Crafted World um, is uh, definitely one of the... Um, Better looking games on the Switch because it is so stylized and uh, um, just to look at um, Wind Waker. That is one of the most stylized games on the GameCube, and uh, it's uh, and it uh, still holds up today. 
Um, yeah. Well, um. Uh, no, I don't have the Smash Bros. demo anymore, unfortunately. Uh, I may have checked out the new hands I had left. Oofs, I had left. Um, but yeah, it, like I said, well, like I was saying, because it is so stylized, this will look pretty much just as good as, as it does today in, say, five console generation for. Yeah, well, it's been about yeah, it's been about five console, console generations since the GameCube. So, so there was there's GameCube, then there's Wii, Wii U. There's no sorry, it's been about it's been three since um, the GameCube. So in about three or four, maybe even five, it'll still look good. And I think this is the same deal as that. Where when we come back to this, um, when like. Um, Switch 3.0 comes out, um, or 4.0 or whatever um, they're doing in um, that whatever Nintendo does at that in that period of time. Um, then uh, this is definitely still gonna look good um, because it's not really going for realistic um, graphics. It's very stylized and it. Uh, um, just look at uh, games that try to look realistic in older games. They used to look realistic back then, but nowadays they don't look realistic at all. Um, and that's why stylized games hold up better than realistic looking games. Um, but yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun playing this. It is definitely worth for at least picking up the demo and playing through it. And it, uh, I was play playing about, I think it was about here. I was uh, thinking to myself, oh man, I wish I I um, could get this because um, I can't get it this month at least because I've got my father's um, birthday presents to get. And I also overspent a little bit last time I had to borrow a little bit of money, so I have to pay that back, so I don't really have any money to spend this month. Ow, I just stabbed myself with my thumb. That hurt. Anyway, um, otherwise I would definitely like, uh, pick, at least uh, think about picking this up because um, this uh, this would just be one of those games I, I would imagine that to, you just play to relax a bit and just uh, and just one of those games where you could just uh, um, plow through it uh, um, in like one sitting or so. Well, maybe not one sitting, but in, a, in like a couple sittings because it doesn't seem that hard. Um, so yeah, I can definitely see this just like. Being something you pick up just to, um, to take a break from smashing and minecrafting and moonlighting. I'm just just looking at the last like three games I played on my Switch, and there's Moonlighter, Minecraft, and Smash Bros. and Yeah, if you're if you're too tired from the um, action and antics from those games, this is definitely a game to pick up. Um, just to sit back, relax, and play it, and definitely pick up um, for your little ones because th they are going to enjoy this. Um, I don't have any little ones. I have nephews and a niece, but I think only one of them is old enough to play video games, and I don't see him that much because he lives a, a couple. Well, I, I don't know how many miles away he is, but he, he lives a little while away, so. Um, I really don't get to see him that much. I get to see him when I go visit my mum, but um, I I I, I couldn't tell you if he if if he like it, but I'm pres I'm I'm presuming uh, little kids would like this because it is very cute. Um, it is a very cutesy game. Also, you can do a little um, you know, crouch dance. Um. Yeah, that's just about it. Um, Alright, so there's about five more minutes of this left where I just go find it, uh, um, some these little guys, so I'll leave you to enjoy that. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.